Oh, to be completely honest, it doesn't feel great. So many people and boats heading out to sea this morning and I don't think I've seen this many people fishing before. They're just everywhere. Hey guys, just having a little run or a little shuffle here at Fodder Forest Park Run. First run since I've had that run in with the kid on the bike about nine days ago. So just doing some run walks just to see how it feels. Oh, to be completely honest, it doesn't feel great. I'm okay just shuffling along, but I uh, can't, can't go any quicker than that. There's just still some pain in the knee. I am going to have to have a rethink about what to do. That was disappointing at Fodder Forest Park Run yesterday. Only ran for a few hundred meters in between lots of walking. Once I started running, there was discomfort in the knee. So that's not a good sign. And I would have thought that after nine days of rest, there would have been some improvement, but there wasn't. I'm going to need to look further afield as to what's going on. Off to the doctor, off to get some scans after that little tumble that I had with the encounter with the kid on the bike. I do have a bit of a gut feeling what might be the problem with the knee but I don't want to share it just yet because I want to have somebody from the medical field take a look at it, take a look at the scans and then I can have a definitive answer on what is going on inside the knee. But it's just frustrating. It's frustrating because I'm watching all these people getting ready for the London and Boston marathons and all those overseas marathons. We're also coming into our marathon season here, our road racing season. Some good marathons coming up. Noosa, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, Sydney and Melbourne a little bit later on in the year. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to probably sit it out the way this knee is feeling. Look, it's only running, and there are much greater problems in the world than my sore knee. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, and that's a part of being injured when you're a runner, isn't it? That uh, you just have to be patient and let time run its course. Hopefully there's not too much damage in the knee, and that you know some rest and recuperation and rehab will help. Until I get those scans, I'm sort of um, flying a little bit blind, I guess you could say. But I think heading down that path now, getting scans, finding out what exactly is going on is the right way to go. And then I can plot a path from there and it'll determine how long I will be out of running. But while I'm having this downtime, I'll throw my attention to the runners that I'm coaching. And just on that, a huge shout out to everyone who turned up to the Run With Woody get together at the Fodder Forest Park run yesterday. Some of those runners that I do coach, yeah, turned in some really good 5k yesterday. Not everyone turned up to Fodder Forest, they went and did some other park runs. They're tracking the right way heading into the road racing season. Just shows that consistency and patience with your running will bring results. Look out for some of those run with Woody get togethers. Our plan is to have some catch-ups at Park Run over the winter months. And I've got to say too, I've got the jumper on today, this morning. It is a little bit chilly. That's it from me guys, from a very windy foreshores. Wherever you are, run well, run safe, and I'll see you real soon.